Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Decoding Leading Industries. Today we have with us the team of Zaveri Engineers, a company that's leading innovation in manufacturing and technology. In the grand tapestry of industry and innovation, the team we have with us today is a true visionary that's rewriting the rules of possibility. Their journey is a testament to the boundless potential of human ingenuity and their groundbreaking technology is reshaping the landscape of manufacturing as we know it. Without further ado, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome the team of Zaveri Engineers to another episode of Decoding Leading Industries. Mr. Zaveri, can you provide us with an overview of uh, Zaveri Engineers? What is your primary vision and goal? Our vision at Zaveri Engineers is to empower business with innovative solutions that enhance cost effective, boost, boost productivity, simplify process and drive sustainable growth. Uh, from the college days, I always wanted to make something new, something innovative. That was my whole idea. And one punchline was that what world is making, I don't make. What I am making, world cannot make. So that time we made a very simple game which we, in school days also, in college also, we used to play is the cross and dot. It is in the one page with three lines and this very simple game. But that game, I made it in three dimension. And that time, we, I didn't have any tooling or anything and no factory. So, we made a one page, second page, third page, fourth page, imaging, it's in a uh, line. And then we play horizontal, vertical, diagonal, diagonally vertical like that. The game was, I have innovated that game. And after coming to the business, we made that uh, game also in uh, plastic. Then I made a clock also. At that, that time, there was a theme required that toys are the best thing. So I made uh, how the time was measured, the sundial. Then I made a winding clock, that's the whole clock, and then electronic like that. That was the journey. And then I studied in Germany also for plastic also. Then I thought of this process that let me have this new process. And that time I made some experiments. And then we did the production of those items. This is some, somewhere in 80s I made all these products. I'm intrigued by your brain orientation process. Uh, could you help us understand how it works and how it's crucial for your products? Uh, yes. Now, grey orientation process, as you know, uh, like forging. Forging is the process where the materials, grains are oriented. That gives us better strength like stencil strength and mechanical strength. The same thing can be done by, if you want to make a spanner, you can do the machining or you can make it from the casting, but that doesn't have the strength. It is only grain orientation or forging process gives the strength to the spanner. So similarly, what we have done is, we are also doing the same thing in our plastic process. We are orienting the grains so that the plastic product strength, mechanical strength and tensile strength becomes very strong. That is how this idea of grain orientation has come to my mind. Mr. Zaveri, in the cost comparison section, you mentioned significant savings. Could you provide us an insight on how it is cost effective and more efficient? Yeah, certainly. See, any process, manufacturing process require major three things, raw material, uh, tooling and machines and electric power. So, in our case, Raw material is same, plastic reform is there, but the tooling which we made is drastically reduced the price for manufacturing the tool. It will be around 70 to 90 percent saving on the tool. It will be at least 70 to 80 percent saving on the machine also. The machine is also very cheap and versatile and in the same machine, you can manufacture so many items of so many sizes also. It is not necessary for you to have a different machines. As compared to 
electric power, the thermal energy which is required, electricity to heat the material. Normally, it is about 200 degrees centigrade. In our case, we do not go above melt temperature. We can do the molding less at less than 100 degrees centigrade. So, for 100 degree centigrade, less than 100 degree centigrade, solar energy also can be used. That will be a lot of saving in power, in machine and in terms of tooling. That is truly impressive Mr. Zaveri. Thank you so much for shedding light on the cost efficiency aspects of your technology. Thank you. We have with us Ms. Rujuta Zaveri who will be speaking to us about market feasibility and the uniqueness of their products. Your polygonal products are fascinating. What makes them stand out and why should customers choose them over traditional products? Certainly, our patented technology allows us to craft a diverse array of elegant polygonal shaped and sized products which can be tailored for various design concepts. These products possess a remarkable combination of strength and lightweight properties and they have very minimum maintenance requirement. One can customize these products to fit into any luxurious setup whether it is interior or exterior. Ms. Zaveri, what the world makes, mm -hmm. we don't make it and what shapes we make, the world can't make it. Can you elaborate on this concept and how does your grain orientation process factor onto it? Typically any product would you see whether it is a planter or any chair or any they have a typical shape which is always there available all over the world. Our concept represents our ability to create unique polygonal shaped and size products using our grain orientation process. With the process not only the durability of the product increases, the shape is very different which is not available easily in the market and with the process again the cost of manufacturing any product comparatively or drastically goes down and with the grain orientation process of ours the life of my product is many folds increased. The products do not disintegrate faster compared to any other product made simultaneously with any other processes in the world. Whatever shapes which I am making is not available anywhere and the best part is that with the finishes what it can go through it can adjust into any environment whether it is interior and exterior and withstand any weather conditions. Thank you for having me. It has been a pleasure discussing our journey and innovation with you. Now let us venture into another exciting dimension of Zaveri Engineers ethos technovation. To delve deeper into this concept, we are shifting gears from Mr. Shailesh Zaveri to another dynamic leader, Mr. Shrenik Zaveri, who will share his insights into why Zaveri Engineers technology is the best choice and how it aligns with their unique ethos. Thank you for having me. I am uh, excited to delve into ethos technovation and elaborate how our technology can have a sustainable and innovative future. Ethos Technomation is an intriguing concept. Could you explain how it's the best choice and how it aligns with your ethos? Could you also elaborate on the scalability aspect and how it can help in driving growth in various industries? Certainly, scalability is one of our technology's key advantages. We have designed our process which is easily adaptable, which means businesses can expand uh, their operations quickly and effectively to uh, diversify their product lines. We have designed our processes which is easily expandable, which means businesses uh, can expand their operations quickly and effectively to diversify the product lines. Our technology provides the agility and flexibility uh, that modern industry requires to be competitive in the market. That's remarkable, Mr. Zaveri. It's evident that your technology is a game changer in manufacturing, offering sustainable growth and a transformative potential for clients. We have researched, developed and patented a new technology in plastic process, which can be a game changer for the plastic industry. By, By Ethos Technovation, Technovation a Zaveri Engineers Venture. venture.